Okay, uh, first of all, let me bring you up to date on some things. Uh, I had my second Moderna shot on Tuesday and it kind of knocked me out uh, of service. What is today, Thursday? I, I had to ask because I'm not sure. Uh, ran a fever, a lot of aches and pains, but I'm better today. Uh, we did film on Monday, but uh, Carl has been tied up He's going to be out of town all next week on spring break with his uh, with our grand brats and his wife. And uh, so he he normally does our videos. So Susie st uh, stepped in time and apparently I'm not very good at relaying instructions. And so the videos on Monday didn't work. Uh, and somehow that's my fault, although Susie was behind the the uh, the camera. Uh, apparently the video was good, but. <laughs> That's not the right symbol, Susie. Uh, the video was good, but the sound was really bad, so we couldn't do them. Uh, so we lost a day of, of filming. And like I said, it's obviously my fault. Uh, today, this morning, I want to, before we get in and get really dirty working fish, uh, answer questions that were uh, posed by our donors on GoFundMe. Now, I'm going to give my standard I didn't like GoFundMe statement. Uh, I just didn't like it. I got outvoted. Uh, my plan is the next time we have a board meeting is to get the dogs, uh, Osa and Maya, appointed to the board and so they can give me their proxy so maybe I don't get outvoted. Uh, but I was outvoted, but as a compromise, uh, the, all the bad people on, on the other side agreed that I, uh, that in return we would do videos of questions, my answers to questions from uh, donors. And so we have one, two, three, four, five of them to do uh, today. And the first one is from Cosmos Jam. I'm not sure who that is. I guess that's a, a, uh, a GoFundMe uh, handle. Uh, he said, awesome farm, love your work. Do you have advice for small hobbyists uh, breeding slash farming, such as recommended containers for fish, etc.?" cetera? Uh, yes, uh, depending upon where you are, uh, your climate and what you're raising, uh, I recommend outdoor tubs. Uh, we use uh, tubs that we get from uh, their agricultural supply companies. Tractor supply is a good choice, your local uh, agricultural feed store probably has them. Uh, we have uh, 40 gallon and 110 gallon uh, uh, bats that we use. They're good for outdoor production. Even if you're in a cold climate, you can raise a lot of fish uh, outside during your summer, even if it's short. Uh, here we can keep fish outside, usually from uh, around uh, early March, we get a we always get a, a warm spell in in uh, the first half of February, then we usually get a cold spell the second half of February. This year we got a really bad cold spell uh, the uh, early uh, mid well mid I, Valentine's Day, so uh, I think that's the 14th. Uh, uh, but typically our spring starts earlier, so we can put fish out. Uh, in March, and we have to bring them in usually by November. Uh, you'll just have to look at what your weather is, watch the weather. But live bears, uh, a lot of the anabantids, uh, uh, e even if you have the right water conditions, tetras and barbs, uh, and uh, smaller cichlids can be raised in small tubs uh, outside. We actually raise some peacocks, especially my experimental strains where I'm working on co new colors in 110 gallon tubs. Uh, Susie Pan over there and you see some, you have to excuse the cages and stuff on top uh, where you still haven't recovered from the Valentine's Day storm. We're inventorying fish and resetting up breeders for those that we have. But we, I'll put a male and maybe 10 females in one of those. Uh, with some fry cages so the fry have places to hide, a bunch of horn work. Uh, so yes, that's good. If you're raising killies, uh, there's a product, a plastic product called Critter Keepers. 
It's got a lid. It's a stackable aquarium. I think they come in one and two and five gallon sizes. Uh, either those or any of their competitors would be good. They had advantage of having lids on them, uh, uh, ventilated lids, which prevents the fish from jumping out. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, uh, feeding. If you're feeding a lot of fish or if you can get together with your local club, the best all around fish food I found uh, is uh, Aquamax from Perina. And I don't get it. I don't get paid by Perina. We're a big customer, but we don't uh, through our our local uh, uh, agricultural feed store. Any Perina dealer can order it. We use for really small fish or uh, well for fry. If currently we're not raising it, rainbow fry. Uh, we use their uh, uh, fry starter powder uh, for for live bear fry for small smaller fish including smaller cichlids we use aquamax 100 uh, which refers to the, the size of the grain it's a 50 percent protein slow uh, sinking food uh, bag a 50 pound bag cost them between 70 and 80 dollars uh, from your feed store uh, if you get together with some other people uh, it stores well at room temperature uh, we also use Aquamax 200 for a little bit bigger fish, Aquamax 300 for, uh, for even larger ones, including large cichlids. Those are all 50% protein. Then we use Aquamax 500 floating pellets, that's 42%. It's good for all the fish eat it. It's really good for fish where you want to. And in our case, it, you know, if you're feeding in a tub, you can't always tell whether the fish are, are eating everything which is fine in our system. We've got a big recirculating system with a lot of plant filtration. Ammonia is easy to control. It's always zero, except for right after the storm when we had a ton of dead fish, more than a ton of dead fish in, in the systems. But the, uh, it's a highly, the Aquamax foods are highly digestible and don't break down uh, uh, in, as quickly as some uh, tropical fish foods do. So overfeeding is not quite the problem, but you do have to kind of practice that. The floating pellets are good because you can tell if they're getting eaten. Uh, yeah. If you watch uh, any videos of me feeding, and I think there were a couple pre-storm, pre-Valentine Day storm, I just chunk a bunch in. I have feeling from our, uh, our bat labels how many fish are in there, but I don't worry too much about it. Our system can handle it. You just have to be a little bit more careful if you're doing tubs. Uh, anyway, critter keepers, tubs. Uh, uh, the tubs can be used inside too. They're cheaper than, than aquaria. Uh, and of course, aquariums are always, always good. Uh, my first uh, recirculating uh, plant filter system was a two before rack with three tiers of 10 gallon aquaria, uh, 10 on each tier. They were interconnected by double siphons uh, uh, and with a pump pumping water from the top, bottom to the top. Uh, uh, some, a lot of plants in the bottom rack, especially. Anyway, I think, I hope I answered your question. If you, Cosmos Jam, if you have any other questions, let me know. I will, will certainly answer them. Thank you.